Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be working in the viewport in Unreal Engine 4. We'll go over the different modes of the viewport, and we'll talk about the details panel a little bit. To get things started, we need to put a cube in our scene. So we'll come over to the modes panel, basic, and then come down the cube and just drag and drop that into your scene. The viewport has three modes, move, rotate, and scale. You can either click on each one of these icons to change the mode, or you can press W, E, R on the keyboard. In move mode, you have three ways that you can move an object. By using these arrows, selecting these planes, which will move your object on two axes at once, or grabbing this sphere in the middle, which will move your object according to the camera. In rotation mode, you can rotate an object on three axes, pitch, roll, and yaw. In scale mode, you can scale an object with these cubes. You can use these planes to scale on two axes at once, or you can uniformly scale by selecting this cube in the middle, scaling on all axes at once. From here, if you come over to the details panel and under transform, you'll see location, rotation, and scale. These are directly related to the modes we were just in. So you can adjust an object by going to these modes, or you can come over to the details panel, the transform, and you can adjust the numbers manually. The easy way to remember how these relate to the gizmos is RGB equals XYZ. Red, green, blue equals XYZ. I'm gonna zero these out. The next thing I wanna talk about is local mode and global mode. So if you come up to the viewport toolbar, you'll see this globe icon. You can change from global to local by clicking on this, or another way to change it is by holding down control on the keyboard and hitting tilde. So while in global mode, if you rotate this object, you'll notice that the gizmo didn't change. It's called global because it's related to the world. And if you go into local mode, you'll notice that the gizmo is now aligned to the object. It's locally aligned. One of the benefits of this is if you wanna move, rotate, or scale an object along its natural pivot. Now another thing to mention related to local and global is that while you're in local mode, move, rotate, and scale, they all have a local mode. And in global, move and rotate have a global mode, but scale is always in local. All right guys, in the next video, we're going to be covering grid settings and snaps. If you like this video, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video.